Hey guys, and welcome to Neat Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll tell you how to start using your Neat Video Denoiser in Nuke. Once you have downloaded and installed Neat Video, start Nuke. Neat Video should be available in the toolbar. Let's say you have got a clip in your project that requires some noise reduction. To add Neat Video to the node tree, click on the Neat Videos icon and then click the Reduce Noise Effect. Now connect the Reduce Noise node to the Read node that has your noisy clip and to the Viewer node. Now the node is added to the clip, but the magic hasn't happened yet. Now you need to choose a frame within the clip that has both lots of noise and large featureless areas like sky. That will allow Neat Video to analyze and remove noise. Let's choose this one. Now click Prepare Noise Profile. Specify the video scan type. Here in Neat Video's window, you can build a noise profile and change filter settings. But before proceeding to noise reduction, make sure Neat Video's optimized for your hardware. Go to Tools, Preferences, Performance. Here, click the Optimize Settings button and click Start. When this test finishes, click the Accept Best Combination button. Also, check that this slider is moved to the green mark and click OK. And now we are set to clean this noisy clip. Click Auto Profile. Check that the area found by Auto Profile is completely flat and has no details. If there are some details, manually choose a more suitable area and click Build Profile. Then switch to the Adjust and Preview tab. Here you can change some of these filter settings, but in many cases there is no need to do that. As you can see the result is already awesome. Here is noise, and now it's gone. For now, we just click Apply. That's pretty much it. Noise reduction is now applied, and you can render the composition and save the results to disk using a Write node. And that's it. For more advanced tips, make sure you watch our other tutorials. You should see links to some of them on the screen and in the description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll be happy to help. And bye for now.